If you see in our population, uh, chewed tobacco is a lot more prevalent and there are belts where it is ubiquitous. Everybody is chewing tobacco, sometimes at very, very young ages. We see kids who, are, who start at 13, 14, 15. Um, I would say that there hasn't been a major scientific analysis comparing the two. But if you look at the general age of people who come with mouth cancer in our country due to chewing of tobacco, it's much younger than those who present in the Western world with smoking of tobacco. For example, we'll see a lot of patients between 40 and 50 with mouth cancer who used to chew tobacco. But in the Western world, the average age of person coming in with mouth cancer who used to smoke is about 60, 65 or 70. So it would seem that there is a much more potent risk with chewed tobacco than with smoked. And it makes a lot more sense. If you think about it, if you put tobacco in your mouth, you're going to, you're going to expose the mouth to very, very high concentrations of tobacco in a very concentrated area. So the cancer-causing effect or carcinogenic effects are also going to be much more.